What's up, guys? KG Trading here with another live day trading video on the Paper Money account. <clears throat> uh, sorry about um, not posting for about a week. I've been extremely busy. Um, you know, college, I got my motorcycle endorsement, uh, work and stuff. So, anyway, oh, a lot of schoolwork actually, too. So, anyway, we're back. Sorry about the wait. Uh, but today we're going to be day trading options on SPY here. And this is SPY right now. They should be opening up a decent amount. Um, I'll show you the other page. The options will open up any second here. So. <clears throat> just wait and see how they open here. Depending on how expensive these options are, will determine how many I can buy. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I got a little new setup here. I got, so it should, as soon as I buy them, show here that I bought them and like how much I'm up or down a lot easier. I don't know why level two is here, but it's just there. It's not really going to affect us, but all right. So they're open. I'll show you. I'll show you uh, option prices. Pretty pretty cheap. One hundred twenty five a piece right now. They're all updating. It's a monitor one. Holy! Those options should be updating here. Any second. Yeah. Now it's one hundred sixteen. I'll show you. 116. I'm actually going to have this ready to buy. Probably about 100 of them. Let's just see how much that is, real quick. All 11,000. Guess what? I'm doing 150. That's a big day here, then, I guess. Or a big losing day. You never know. So we got that ready to go. So we'll go back on here. Okay. So it came back up some. Just wait and see what happens. They they were definitely stretched, like extremely stretched from their EMAs here. But I mean, they're coming up to test. They could break and and go up more. How much volume is that? Almost five hundred thousand. That's a lot, actually, for spy. That is the first candle, though. So that might be not that much. How much are they up? They're actually down. Wasn't expecting them to open down. It looks like they gapped up a decent amount. Never mind. They closed up here. All right. So, just wait and see what happens. I also did not read news of the market today. I'm just kind of here day trading the options on them. Don't know really what's gonna influence them to go up or down. But I guess we'll just use technical analysis to try to predict what's gonna happen here. Jesus, as soon as that candle opened, it just immediately dropped. Okay. I don't know if it's a good end down here. It might be good. But they both hit like, the same area and they both came back up here. I don't know. I might try to get up when they, when they cross the EMAs with 150 options. Uh, call. Options. I guess it's going to be my plan here. Or if they break lower lows, maybe come down somewhere around like $356 and like 90 cents, somewhere around here. I'm actually going to put a trend line at price level. Maybe like there. Because if we don't want them to make another low, so I'm going to be buying calls. If they do get down there, that would be a great spot, I think, to get in. And also, if they break their highs, it would be a good spot. Not highs, um, but EMAs would be a good spot. I guess we just wait and see now. <clears throat> okay. We're just about to break it. I want to see him get a little more than that. 
Oh crap. It seems they did break it a little bit. I don't know. They never had follow through above above the emails. They kind of just dropped real quick. Yeah, that was a fake. That was a fake out right there. Uh, volume is still kind of dropping off here. Way more volume on the red bars than there ever is on the green. Actually, this technically this is a green bar, but you can see how much it dropped. There's still a lot more bear volume in here. Guess I'll just wait a little more here. Ugh, tired. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am in high school, and after Wednesday, like Monday and Tuesday, I go to school. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm at home. I have to wake up at like 7.30 in the morning, or actually 7, and class starts at 7.30 in the morning. Gotta get all the work done. Um, I did the majority of it, and then I come over here to trade, make the video, and then I go back to my schoolwork. It's pretty hectic. Very busy. Anyway, I guess I guess what we want them to do. Oh, okay. If they break this, I want to see a green bar after. But I feel like they're gonna make a over low. I don't know. I'm gonna get in. I'll show you guys. Confirm, send. Get in, get in, come on. Come on. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do it at market. I'm gonna do it market. Put that market. Make it 150 quickly. Hopefully it'll get filled immediately. Okay, it did. Uh, it doesn't look good. It looks like we're already down to 0.6 thousand, I think that says. Just because we use market and it fills us wherever it feels like. Yeah. That's why you don't want to use market. Ah, crap. I'm going to just stretch this over. There we go. I don't know. I don't even know where exactly I got filled on them. We should be. We should be up. I don't know why it's not updating. I guess paper money is just extremely laggy then. Lately. Is it going to update? I was down the same amount down here and it was all the way up about 20 or 30 cents higher from where I got in and I should be up a whole lot more. Now I'm only down 13.50. Where it must have like filled me like somewhere all the way up here. That's stupid. That's why I never use market orders. I did in this video or just there because I wanted to get in. Um this trade here is called the drop, uh, the dropping knife or the falling knife, I think. When you have a huge red candle like that, normally it could continue, but normally it's always a bounce after that because that's a huge bar. Um, that's one of my strategies I do use. I should be up more. I should. We might be break even then now. Um. Okay, we're only down 900 now, and that's right here. I'm going to get rid of that line. I really want them to come up to this red line, and I'm, I'll probably scale out some up there if I can. That would be the red to green move, I think. It depends... I don't know if my line's on the red to green move. Let me zoom out. Where would they become green on the day? Oh, you can just look up here. They're down 53 cents, so. It's like 78. 
is when they would like seventy something. So up here, yeah, this would be when they would be green on the day, right around up here. Fifty-two, yeah, exactly, like seventy-eight or seventy-nine. They would have to hit to be green on the day. So they need to come all the way up to make a new high to be green on the day here. I don't think they're gonna go that high, or I don't think I want to hold them that long. Oh my god. Alright, so look, on here it's a lot bigger so you guys can see it. Um, why is it not showing my, my cursor? It's not showing my cursor for some reason on that monitor. Do you see it on this one? Oh, you guys don't see my mon my cursor anywhere. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fix it this video. That sucks. Um. Anyway, at the bottom of at the bottom of here, you'll see it says spy. Um, you can kind of see where I'm highlighting it, but for some reason my mouse isn't showing. Somehow we're down more money than we were just a second ago, but we're up a whole lot more. I'll take a look. Oh, you can see my monitor on here or my cursor. How come it wasn't just working a second ago? Yeah, it doesn't work on here, I guess. I don't know why. Oh, we're only down 525 now. You can see where it says PL open. Um We got 150. We got filled at a dollar twenty-eight when the price was actually like a dollar ten or something. You guys can like rewind and go check what price it was at when I was trying to buy. And then you can see what I got actually filled at using a market order. Alright, let's go back on the chart. Now we're back down to 1500. I'd really like to see them get up to this line. That's where they were. That's where all the EMAs were. I'm actually going to remove it and make a new one. I'll, I'll scale out some, like, right there. <clears throat> I'll take a sip of coffee, because coffee's good. All right. So that's good. They got rejected. They don't want to drop. They might come up with new highs here. I know my videos have been, have been getting very, very long lately. So what I'm actually going to do... Well, no. They're really close. So I'm not going to cut it. But I'm going to start cutting the videos. So you guys don't have to, to sit through them so long. Because I know I don't like to do that either. I'm sure you guys don't. So I'm trying to get like the good parts of when the trade, or I'll come back when like the trade might be happening or not, and try to edit it when I'm actually like good in a trade or bad in a trade or whatever. So I want to be transparent. If I'm down, I'll come back. If I'm up, I'll come back. Doesn't matter. Um, I'll show you my full PL afterwards. All right. So they're actually about to break this. We're still down. Like, we got filled at the worst price possible. I really wish I never used market. Now we're only up like 375. This could have been like three grand if I actually got filled where I wanted. It would be up over three grand. I'm pretty sure. Depends if I got filled at where I wanted to. I don't remember where that was, but you guys can go look back when I was doing that limit order. And didn't get filled, I canceled it. You can see where I was trying to get filled. And then I did get filled at 1.28 or $1.28. Really, it's 128 but... Okay, they did break. I'm going to scale out some. So right-click. Somehow we're only up 225 when we were just up more here, and now they're up even more. I don't get why it's so bad of updating. Well, I want to let it update before I get out. Because, like, I don't know if it needs to up. Okay, now I'll get out. I'm going to get out all of them. 
Hopefully it will work. Why did it zoom me out so much? I'm actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it down some. Not 100%. I'm going to do like 135. Hopefully that will get filled. What happened here? There we go. I don't know why everything just got zoomed out and weird. Come on, I need to get filled. I swear if I don't get filled. If I use another market, I'll probably get filled like all the way down here for no reason. Lose even more. Come on, just go up a little bit. Come on. This is literally at my limit order. It's through my limit order. Sell. Why well, I want to sell, guys? I'm going to have to do market before they, they drop. Oh, this is going to suck. 102? How is it 102? They were just 137. What? It just, I was just at 137, and now I sold it at 102 for market. Oh my god. This is why TD Ameritrade actually sucks. Like, extremely bad. So, that sucks. I'm gonna short these guys. Hopefully, that will work. And buy 150 of them. Maybe if I can get filled at a good price for once. This doesn't make any sense, though. It was at 137, trying to sell it. You guys saw. That's where it was. That was the mark of the option. That's the price it was at. We won't sell limit at all. I put it in for a market. It gets filled immediately at 102. That's way down, like here. Way below here. Like I buy a lot. Well, I want to load my messages in. Is that in the way? Yeah. We'll move that out of the way. I think I just figured out why I'm getting everything, everything must be delayed. It says delayed data. My other videos, it was never delayed. Why is it delayed now? How much is this delayed? 20 minutes? Why? I've never been delayed. Ever. I've always had real time for about a year now. Why am I delayed now? I'm going to have to message these guys to fix that. I don't know why I'm delayed. I've never been delayed before. So if this is delayed 20 minutes, that might explain why I lost so much money because it's filling them at what they were 20 minutes before what's actually happening on the screen. Okay, well, I guess I can't do these live day trading videos until this gets fixed, so, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to trade with it 20 minutes delayed, and it's filling them at real market times. It's literally impossible to day trade. I don't know why they got to make it so hard on investors that's trying to learn. Why would they get rid of real time? I've had real time for almost a year. That's the question. This isn't a new account. This is the same account. Now we're down back to 27 though. Because we lost so much because they decided to get me delayed. I'm going to have to end the video here though. 
Um, leave a comment if you guys know why they switched this to delayed out of nowhere. You guys can go back to any of my other videos. It's always been live. Um, live data. Like real, real markets. I, I just pulled it up. TD Ameritrade. I think it's on my phone. And it is 20 minutes delayed. Like completely. Like it's showing them all the way down here. And that's why I got filled so low when I was trying to sell them. They filled them all the way down here somewhere. They actually are like, they're like down here. They all did is drop after that when I was trying to sell. So I sold them down there. And then when I bought them, I bought them. When I was trying to buy them down here, I bought them like up here. That's where they were. Because it was delayed. So I'm not gonna be able to post my live day trading videos because now it's delayed and it's pretty stupid. I can't day trade now. Ending the day down three thousand nine hundred because some bull crap. But I guess I can do some other videos like uh, my EMAs. Why I have the nine to twenty and uh, two hundred EMA. Um, where to draw support levels where you think they might be and like rsi you want the volume obviously for day trading not spy not options you want to have active trader and level two up like this i could do videos on that i guess until i get this fixed but hope you guys enjoyed i certainly did not <laughs> um yeah make sure to like subscribe leave a comment um Anything you want me to do or talk about, make sure to leave a comment if you know why they would switch this to delayed. I'm going to have to talk to them in support, but uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in another video. See ya.